Another image, this one from a Chinese satellite. An object in the Indian Ocean 120 kilometers from where an Australian satellite spotted something similar two days earlier. In Australia, reinforcement for the search teams is coming from North Asia. Two Chinese search aircraft flew into Australia's Pierce Air Force Base on Saturday. A Japanese plane will arrive on Sunday. Nothing of significance has been spotted yet, but the search is winding up, not down. The media presence too, though it might yet get bigger. There are more Chinese colleagues will be here when we find something. Saturday saw more planes searching than on any day yet. They included two fast jets which can stay over the search zone for five hours. The military aircraft, which take four hours to reach the zone and four hours to get back, can only spend two hours actually looking. The far plane behind me will be the last to join at Saturday's search. Combined, the six aircraft involved will have just 18 hours directly over the search zone. Over the ocean, while there is high-tech kit on board the military planes, the people on board are probably more valuable. We're looking at just plain old eyesight. We're looking at some of the best people at spotting, being at the window, looking out for things that radar won't find, plastic, seat cushions, these sorts of things that would be telltale signs of a, an aeroplane crash. Australia's Deputy Prime Minister visited the base on Saturday and said the search would last as long as it takes. He batted away rumours that Australia has more satellite images that suggest a crash than it's revealing or that it's holding anything back. Is there anything at all that you are saying to other governments privately that you're not saying publicly? Well, we have discussions with other governments, but uh, I don't think there's anything of substance that uh, has been uh, said between governments that uh, you're not aware of. Boats are looking too. An Australian naval vessel is now on site, as are commercial ships. China is sending three ships, though they are still days away. If objects are found and they do come from flight MH370, that will explain roughly where the aircraft ended up, but not why. A recording of the final 54 minutes of the co-pilot's communication with those on the ground was revealed on Saturday. The only remotely unusual thing was an unnecessary repetition of the aircraft's height. It's possible the where will lead to the why, and that is what this is all about. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Perth.